So after having shaped the canal, after having reached the full working length, most of us rinse a little bit finally. Perhaps they are adding a master cone or a silver point, whatever, whatsoever, and then we fill the canal. But the problem is not solved yet. Frank Paquet from Zurich, he published a very nice study in 2009, and here on the left you can see pictures of the mesial canals from a lower molar. So we see one canal to the left, one to the right, and the area in between. And when we look at the total surface of the canal, we can see that the area in between the main canals is bigger than the canal itself. Here it's even more easy to understand what I mean. We do have after shaping two main canals, and the area in between disappeared. So where's the area in between gun? It's filled with debris. All the white areas you can see here or there are packed with debris. So they have been filled with bacteria before in an infected case, in a necrotic case, and now they are not only filled with bacteria, they are also filled with debris. And you can imagine that it is really impossible to rinse them out only by using a syringe. We need to activate the solution. Otherwise, these packed debris will never be um, taken off from the root canal system. One solution is Eddy, is this new, new polyamide tip. I don't know how you activate your solution at the moment. I'm still using ultrasound because um, until today it wasn't possible to buy these instruments. So I tested them, I tried them, of course, but I didn't use them on the patient, it wasn't allowed. I use ultrasound. How do you activate your solution? Hand file and ultrasound. Hand file and ultrasound. You, so you use your ultrasound and you put it at the hand file and then you activate it. Okay, and it starts moving. Anybody else? How, how do you activate the solution? That's Same. A a, with your hand file. Yeah, with a C file. C pilot file and then you, you, you put it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any damages? Anything? What can happen? Any disadvantages on this? No, no. No? Okay, okay. I personally uh, also use ultrasound, that's what I mentioned, and I use the Irisafe tip from, from PDW. This is a very thin um, stainless steel tip with a blunt end, so it is made not to damage the canal wall, but by using ultrasound, we have a movement of more than 20,000 times per second. And when you touch more than 20,000 times per second your canal wall, what will happen? It will cause a latch or a step, something like this. So I stay 20 to 30 seconds in a strongly curved root canal and not any longer. According to the literature, we should stay about two minutes in a curved canal. I did it several times and I always cause these ledges. And this is a big disadvantage, of course, because you're unable to fill the canal later on. We, this is much um, better and this has really solved this problem with the polyamide tip because polyamide is significantly softer than dentin and this will not damage the canal wall any longer. So we can stay as long as we want to in the root canal and we activate the solution. The frequency is not like ultrasound, it's only, only sound and this means 6,000 movements per second instead of moving um, tw more than 20,000 times. And I was I had uh, my, my doubts uh, on this system because it's not the same frequency and I didn't know exactly if it will cause a cavitation. And we investigated this in a laboratory, in an army laboratory. And you can see on the left hand side the movement and you also see at the same time these cavitation bubbles. So they are coming up, they are imploding, they are exploding. We have really a cavitation and it cleans the canals very nice. What do we need to use um, these polyamide tips? We need compressed air connection at the dental chair, and we need an air scaler, like the WH. It's a German one. Cable is quite popular here in Germany as well, and internationally in Asia, um, much more the NSK. Yeah. And if you have one of these three air scalers and air at your chair, you can use the Eddy. You simply screw it in the air scaler, and that's it. <laughs> 